Hey guys, today I'll show you how we can make this awesome image circle effect on your element website. So here you can see these beautiful orbiting lines and also when we hover over on these images, you can see here the detailed content for that with this smooth animation. That's really cool, right? So without wasting any more time, let's see how can we make that. Okay, so here before starting, I want to say that to create this advanced effect, we have to have the Elementor Pro. So if you don't have Elementor Pro, you can also quickly get this from my link on the description. Now here, first of all, let's take a new container where we will add all of our content. So first of all, I want to make it to full height. So make it to 100 VH and also give it a background color from this background option. By the way, if you don't want to watch this full tutorial and only want to get this thing as a relevant template, you can also get this from my template shop. And here as a bonus, you will get both the container and the old section column version. So after downloading, you just need to upload this and you will get the template where you can also edit all of the content. And this template is also responsive for all of the devices. Okay, now let's go back to our main tutorial. And now inside this container, we also need to take an another container. Let's drag it to here. And basically I want to make it a square shape. So make it to full width and make its height and width same 600 by 600 pixel. And to make it center, we need to go to our this parent container here, this one. And from the layout, we need to make the justify content and the align items both the center. Okay, now let's go back again to this container and we will make a border for that. So from here, make the border to solid, make it to pixel and give it to white color. And also to make it a fully round circle, we need to make the border radius to fully 100%. After that, now we will create our these small images. So basically, I want to take all these images inside a separate container. So for that, here let's take an another container here and inside that we will add our these images. Let's upload an image and let's give it a smaller height and width 70 by 70 pixel. Make the object fit to the cover to adjust it perfectly and also to make it a circle let's give the border radius to 100%. And here for these images, you may also notice a slight inner border. So we will also make that from here, one pixel and give it a color, but make it semi-transparent. And we can also create an outer border by using the box shadow property. So from here, we can easily make that. If we make it to white color and I don't want this blur value, let's make this plate too. Okay, now we can see that box shadow, but it's not creating that circle because this image is now in full width. So to get rid of this, we need to go to this parent container and if we make its direction to row, now we can see it perfectly. Okay, let's go back again to here and I want to make also it to rounded corner. And here to create some gap between them, we will use some padding here. Okay, now here one thing I want to show you so here if i just give some margin you can see when this image is above this line we can see that behind line through this image so to prevent this we need to use the same background color for this image like this dark color so from this container if we just copy this color code and for this image if we just paste it to here we can see now this problem has been solved Okay, so let's also remove this margin. And here you can also see that initially these images are black and white. So when I hover over on that, only this image gets that color. So initially here I also need to make its saturation to zero to make it black and white. Okay, now I want to place this image above this line. But before that, initially I want to place this image at the middle of the center here. Then with our custom code, we will place our that image above this line. So to place it here, first of all, we need to go to this container settings here and make its justify content and align items to the center. 
Also for this image, we need to make its position absolute. And let's also remove this X and Y offset value to make it perfectly on center. So you can see this image is now to the center of our this container. And now I want to place this inner container at the middle of our this square container. So go to this container here and also for this one make its justified content and align items to the center. Okay. So right now here I also want to create some other images so we can easily just duplicate that. But before that here first I want to check its responsiveness for the tablet and mobile devices because if I first duplicate and then do the responsive work then we need to do the responsive work again for that duplicated content okay so for tablet it looks good and for mobile here i think we need to reduce its size so make it to 35 by 35 pixel okay that's perfect so right now i can just duplicate this image and for this one i want to upload an another one and by following the same process, let's just create some other images. Okay, so here you can see all the images, but because of making its position absolute, we can see them on the top of each other. So right now to place it perfectly, we need to do a couple of things. So first of all, go to this container settings and we need to add a class with that. MDW image circle and also need to add some custom CSS with that. And here you also don't need to worry about this code snippet. I will give all the code snippet to my website and also give that code snippet link to my description. So from here you can just copy and paste that code. Then next go to this inner container and with this one we also need to add another class MDW orbit images and here we also need to add some more code. And lastly, we also need to add some JavaScript code. So for that, let's take an HTML widget and drag it to here. And make sure you have dragged it inside this container here. And if you paste this code, now we can see this image is positioned perfectly. And you can see here I've taken eight images. So in case if you want to create more images, so if I just duplicate this and save this, then if we refresh this page, here you can see, now this layout is also perfectly working for 9 images. So this code snippet will automatically create same amount of gap between all of these images. That's really cool, right? So I want to delete this image. And now with our this first image, initially I want to make it to active. So if we go to here and add the class active. We can see that highlighted color for this image and if you want you can also change that color so if you go to that parent container and from its custom css from here you can find that color option after that next we will create our inner circles inside that so we will create that by using some divider widgets so let's drag and divider to here and i want to drag it right after that html widget First of all, let's give it a height and give the same amount of width from this width option. Make it to custom and give it to 470 pixel. Okay, but because of this divider, we can see this image has been displaced. So to get rid of this, we also need to make its position to the absolute. Okay, and we also want to make it to center. So let's also remove this offset values. Now to make it a circle, let's go to the style and first of all I want to remove this gap, make it to zero and also remove this black color. So make it to fully transparent and from the border option here we also need to make a border, make it to pixel, give it a border color. And like before, let's also make the border radius to fully 100%. Then also create an another circle inside that. So I just want to duplicate this divider widget and for this one let's give it a smaller height and width 350 by 350 pixel and for this one let's change the border color. Here I will also convert this circle to an animating circle like that. 
but before that here first of all i want to create the content at the middle so basically here for our each images we need to take a separate container and when we hover over on this we need to show that corresponding container here as we take eight images so we also need to take eight container for that and i want to wrap these eight containers inside an another parent container so let's drag this parent container to here and i want to place it to right after that container here and you can see these image are also displaced again so i also need to make its position to the absolute let's remove these values and we also don't want this to be full width so from here make it first to full width and give it 250 pixel now inside that let's create our first container drag it to here and inside this container you can add any content for those images as i'm creating a team member area so i want to use an image let's drag it to here and also let's drag an heading widget after that okay let's drag it after here and here you can see we cannot grab our this content because of our this divider widget so what we need to do we need to reduce the z index from here both for this divider widget okay now we can grab this so here i want to write the name of this person and also create another heading for the designation so here let's write down web developer and then let's also add some social icons so search for the social icon widget drag it to here so first of all i want to add the image for this one basically we have created our this container for our this image and we will also create other containers for other images but before that let's quickly design this content so for this image i want to reduce the width 150 make the same height make the object fit to the cover to show the image perfectly and also let's make some border radius for this heading i want to change its color to fully white color and also let's change this typography also adjust the alignment to the center then i want to copy the style from here and paste it for this second heading but for this one i want to make a little changes so make it to 14 pixel and also make the font weight to light let's also make some transparency for this color and lastly for these icons here i don't like this facebook icon so i want to choose another one this light one and instead of youtube i want to choose an another icon for linkedin then also add another one for instagram from the style first of all i want to change the size to 15 pixel and i don't like this default color so make it to custom and make the primary color to a transparent color okay everything looks good but we also want to reduce the gap between them so go to this band container and let's give the gap between to 5 pixel okay but for our this image here at the bottom let's give some space and here i also need some gap so make some top margin here with these icons and here you can also see we have some unnecessary padding for our these containers so for this one let's remove this padding to zero and also for this container make it to zero perfect so we have created our first container for our this first image now i want to duplicate this container couple more times but before that like before i also want to check its responsiveness so for the tablet it looks good and for the mobile here i think we need to reduce the image size so make it to 80 by 80 pixel and let's also reduce this font size now let's go back to the desktop and here as i want to position all of our this container at the same place so for this first of all we need to go to our this parent container here and from the layout we need to make these two options to the center and for this inner container we need to make its position to the absolute and remove this offset values 
Now we can see it perfectly on center. Now we can simply just duplicate this. And for our the second one, here I want to add an, another image. Change this heading text. Also this designation. And by following the same process, let's also create the other content. So we have added all of our these eight containers and you can see it's top of each other, which is not looking so good. So finally, here with our this parent container, we also need to add an another class, MDW center content. And here let's also paste some more code. Okay, now all of these are disappeared. So initially I want to show only our first container. So here with the first one, let's add the class active. Now if we save our page and see it from our preview, we can see now if we hover over on any images, it will show that corresponding container. Okay. So it looks good on the desktop. And finally, I want to check this for our other devices. So from the tablet, it looks good and from the mobile it really messed up so first of all we need to fix the size of this most outer circle so with this container make its width to 300 by 300 pixel and also let's reduce the size of this inner divider so for this one make it 275 and we also need to make the same height from here but here you can see this weight option is not responsive for elementor so unfortunately, we cannot do it from here. If we change these values, it will also reflect on the desktop. So we will do this by writing some custom CSS code. Let's paste it to here. Okay, now we can see this divider working perfectly. And with this CSS code, we have also make that rotate animation. And now we can see also two separate lines. So if you also want to change the color of this white line, you can do that from this other border color option then next go to our this second divider widget and for this one i also want to reduce its width and also here paste some additional css code okay now that looks perfect and here one thing i also want to show you if you go to this container and from this custom css you can also control the speed of this rotation Okay, and lastly, here we can see our this container is full width. We don't want that. So go to this container settings and make its width to 220 pixel. And let's also move it a little bit top. So give some negative margin here. Okay, so now it looks perfect from our mobile devices. And also from the desktop, that looks really perfect. So that's how you can create this image orbit effect on your Elementor website. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video.